creative designers welcome again to another interesting video tutorial if you are new here my name is gift and if you're an old subscriber thank you so much for always tuning in so in today's video i'm going to be showing us how to draft the patterns for this beautiful puffy exaggerated sleeve we have on the screen okay this is a very beautiful sleeve easy to wear and it is not um difficult to achieve okay so if this is something you love to learn then let's go straight into it today's video creative designers so now to achieve the patterns for this sleeve you want to draft a basic sleeve and the basic sleeve should end on your elbow line just like you just like i have on the screen now this basic sleeve is looking a bit smaller because i'm using a miniature basic sleeve so you want to draft um your own sleeve using your own actual measurements okay now, after drafting the basic sleeve, like I said, it should end on your elbow line. You want to place it on another pattern paper, which should be times two or times three of the initial length of your basic sleeve. Okay, so the pattern paper you are placing it on should be longer than the basic sleeve itself. That's just it. Okay, now, so what I'm going to do is to tape the basic sleeve down on the new pattern paper i have underneath just like you see me do here okay so i'm going to tape it down using my paper tape that is the first step now after i tape it down you want to determine the length i mean the midpoint of your basic sleeve you want to determine the midpoint of your basic sleeve so i'll just go ahead and you know connect the midpoint of my basic sleeve just like so so i will come up with my stretch ruler and then rule out the midpoint so after doing this the next thing you're going to do is to make sure that what you have at the top is at least five inches in width or in length must be five inches or more than okay it must be five inches in length now because i'm making use of a miniature basic sleeve i'm not going to impute the five inches but please when you are doing yours make sure that you have at least five inches on the cap line okay the cap line now like i said before you want to extend the cap height by five inches on your own basic sleeve pattern but because this is a miniature basic sleeve i'm going to be making use of 2.5 inches instead okay good now the next thing i'm going to do is to extend the midpoint i have there to meet up with the new cap height that i have at the top there good so you want you want to draw the midpoint to meet up with the five inches points you have on your cap height good now i'll just go in with my marker pen to make that line more visible for us to see good so i'll just do that so you can see um clearly what i am trying to say like i said you are extending your cap height by five inches now the next thing you want to do is to come down to your side that is on the elbow area or the bicep area you want to come out by one inch now i repeat one inch but because this is a miniature basic sleeve i'll be coming out by half of an inch i'm sorry creative designers i actually lost the first video so i'm actually using this miniature basic sleeve to illustrate what i did in the first video okay but i know you'll get it using this method so on both sides you want to come out by one inch on your basic sleeve now okay now the next thing you want to do is to determine which part of this sleeve will be shorter and which part will be longer because as you can see from the video the, the there is one part that is shorter and there's another part that is longer so on the part that will be shorter you want to go up by four inches on your own sleeve four inches please but because this is a miniature basic sleeve i'll be doing two inches instead do you understand good now on the elbow line i'm going to just extend my elbow line now like i said 
you want to go up there by four inches. Why on the cap height, you want to go up by five inches. So I'm just writing it out so you understand what I'm doing. So now on your elbow line, you want to extend the elbow line just like so. And like I said before, make sure your paper is long or wide enough. So on that elbow line, you are going to come down by 10 inches. Okay. But because this is a miniature basic sleeve as well, instead of 10 inches, I will do three inches just like you see me do now so on your own basic sleeve pattern you want to come down by 10 inches from your elbow line and then you're going to connect the one inch extension you have there to meet up with the 10 inches line just like so can you see so i'll just write it out 10 inches okay 10 inches good now the next thing you want to do is to connect the shorter part of this sleeve to meet up with the longer part using a smooth curve Remember I said you go up on one side by 4 inches and you go up on the other side by 10 inches. Now I noticed that this was a bit too short so I'll just make it a little bit higher. But that is just what you're going to impute when you are doing yours. Okay. Now I'll take up my curved ruler and then connect those two points together using a smooth curve okay you could use your free hand if that is what you're comfortable with and you could also use your curved ruler just like I'll be doing in the video good now after you've gotten this like i said you could use your free hand if you're comfortable with that or you could use your curve driller now the next thing after this is to move back to the cap height okay now we need to blend the cap height area you cannot leave it like this so you want to give it that puffy effect and to do that you want to blend your cap height to meet up with your arm side using a very smooth curve you could use your free hand as well or you could use your um, your curved ruler at this point. It was a little bit difficult to achieve this using my curved ruler. So I just went in with my free hand at the end of the day. Just to give it a very nice uh, curve around the arm side area. So like I said, you want to give this a very nice um blending you want to blend it in to meet up with your arm side area using your free hand or your curved ruler now at this point i was done blending and this is what we have as you can see i have the five inches at the top that is the cap height area from the elbow line you want to come down by 10 inches from the other side of your sleeve you want to go up by four inches connect the points together and this is what you have now the next thing i'm going to do of course is to go ahead and um, cut out this sleeve now creative designers if you find this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up like comment share if you have any question do not hesitate to drop the question in the comment section and i will be uh, more than happy to answer your question so in my next video i'm going to be showing you how to transfer this to fabric and how to join the patterns i mean the sleeves together to achieve that look as i do not want this video to be excessively long so at this point i was on cutting and this is what the patterns or the pattern look like so yours should look like this as well okay yours should look like this one part should be lo longer while the other part should be shorter and in order to achieve the cap um the puff we have at the cap area all you just want to do is to place these two together and gather it at the top but that is what i'll be showing you in my next video thank you so much creative designers for tuning in and i enjoyed doing this video with you and i hope you also enjoyed this please do not fail to like comment and share i will see you in my next video bye